Kehoe has all of his explosives in place throughout his farm. He had everything timed, had everything planned down to the minute. He had done months and months of background work to ensure that this tragedy would go off without a hitch. After Kehoe had gotten everything ready at his farmhouse, he loaded his truck with explosives. And then around that, he packed everything he could think of that would make shrapnel. And he loaded pieces of farm machinery and nuts and bolts and nails so that the, the entire truck was just packed full of this stuff. And then next to him in the front seat, he had put his rifle. Kehoe actually went and had a rifle, a very nice rifle, custom made for him. And he also was a very skilled marksman. Back then, you took the rifle out with your neighbors and you practiced shooting and everything. So Kehoe and Monty Ellsworth were doing some practice shooting and he got to, to see this new rifle. I mean, really, really high-end, state-of-the-art, custom made for the day. He also had recently purchased a lot, a lot of ammunition, like so much ammunition that it filled up the back of a truck. I mean, shells and shells of it. In everything that was going on that day, Kehoe still found it absolutely necessary to do one last thing. Um, he went to the post office and he delivered a package. He took a dynamite box and stenciled an address on it and took it to the Railway Express office. Now, to ship off his mysterious package, Kehoe had to go downtown. So this brings him just a couple of blocks from the school. Then another maintenance guy happens to run into him and asks for Kehoe's help fixing something at the school. Kehoe knowing he'd wired the school with explosives that are about to go off, tries to get out of it. But eventually, he follows him back to the school and into the school basement. I do not believe that Mr. Kehoe would have showed up at the school that morning if it had not been his contact who encouraged him to go to the school. And Kehoe followed through and went to the school, but he knew he had to get out of there too. He had gone in that morning to help with, uh, oh yeah, I can help. Because <laughs> I'm the expert, I can do this. And so he actually did, you know, but then he told him right at the last minute, he says, well, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. There was a problem, I believe, with the water pump. And uh, he was consulted. And of course, with him knowing what was coming, he didn't hang around. But he was in the building, and uh, people later remembered he seemed to be looking at his watch a little more often than they thought would be routine. 